is the final webinar of connector and inbound endpoints webinar series. Today's webinar is about integration scenarios with WSO2 ESB connectors and inbound endpoints. This is the agenda of today's webinar. Today we will be looking into modern enterprises behavior and its needs. Uh, next we will go briefly about ESB connectors then focus on inbound endpoints and streaming APIs. Finally, we will go through with a demo on how to integrate ESP connectors and streaming connectors with WSO to ESP. Uh, let me explain about uh, modern enterprises behavior briefly. Uh, we know uh, technologies are growing very faster and business trends are changing very frequently. Uh, if you take any modern enterprise, they consist of disparate systems and services. Uh, they may use different protocols and services in various platforms. So you need an IT system which can adapt uh, to the consistently changing business requirement. Uh, most of the IT solutions not based on a single vendor or single solution. You can pick and choose from different vendor uh, to fulfill your requirements. Uh, and also you may use uh, on-premise services or uh, on-cloud solutions according to your business needs. Uh, most of the enterprises ended up by implementing these solutions with the point-to-point -point spaghetti integrations. Uh, it may experience uh, scalability, maintainability, and troubleshooting overheads. Uh, so the enterprise service bus uh, solves most of these integration tribulations. Uh, it acts as the central point to integrate this disparate system. So uh, one of the major advantage of WSO2 platform is uh, having world fastest and uh, uh, high performance CSB. Uh, it is a lightweight uh, tool and uh, near latency, near zero latency product. Um, let's move to ESP connectors. Uh, nowadays we are dealing with uh, multiple cloud APIs. So when it comes to integrate these disparate systems, there can be cloud to cloud or cloud to enterprise. Uh, to fulfill these needs, uh, WSO2 platform come up with the solutions uh, which is CSB connectors. It is a reliable tool that can reach any publicly available APIs such as uh, REST, SOAP and Java. For instance, uh, if you take Salesforce, uh, you may have customer related data. So you can save it uh, you can save those data to Google Spreadsheet. Uh, here WSO2 ESP provides a convenient tool to get data from Salesforce and uh, save those data to Google Spreadsheet. Uh, and also you can integrate multiple APIs together with the help of ESP. Uh, with the uh, ESP 4.90 release, we introduce 140 plus connectors including streaming connectors such as uh, Salesforce and uh, Twitter. Uh, let's see what is inbound endpoints and streaming connectors. Uh, inbound endpoint is an endpoint which, which resides in server side, side of the ESB. Those are introduced to achieve some of the main features like multi-tenancy support, for some protocols like DMS uh, by uh, passing access to layer in inbound side, uh, deploying and undeploying inbound endpoints without server restarting. Uh, basically there are three behaviors introduced such as polling behavior, listening behavior and event based behavior. Uh, basically the polling behavior polls periodically for data and uh, if data is available, then inject those data to given sequence. Uh, this is used in JMS file and generic inbound endpoints. 
another behavior is listening uh, as the direct meaning of the term it listens for requests uh, here uh, listener is started on a port and it listens for request coming to that particular port uh, this is available in HTTP and uh, CXFRS inbound endpoints. Uh, the last behavior is event based. Uh, so event based inbound endpoint falls only once to establish a connection with the remote server. Then consume events. Uh, uh, another concept is streaming APIs. Uh, streaming APIs uh, allow developer to access data and receive notifications for changes with the match query that you define. Uh, for instance, if you take uh, Twitter streaming API, it gives low latency access to Twitter's global stream of tweet data. Uh, and also, uh, Twitter streaming API requires a persistent and keep alive connection between the web server and Twitter. Once tweets come in, uh, Twitter notifies your server in real time and allowing you to store them into the database. Uh, uh, okay, that's all about the streaming APIs and uh, stuff related with that. Uh, Kadis will take over from here. Uh, he will go through a couple of use cases and demos related to uh, WSO2 streaming connectors and REST connectors. Thank you, Ashalia. Uh, hi, everyone. I am going to demonstrate two use cases. In first use case, I, I get the real-time tweets and user detail from Twitter. Then store those data to Kafka message broker. Finally, send those uh, tweets and user data to Salesforce CRM. Before going to this demo, I will explain the ESP extensions which are used for this scenario. Uh, here we use the Twitter streaming connector to get the real-time tweets uh, from uh, get the, uh, from Twitter. And I will use the uh, Kafka connector to publish the data to Kafka message broker. Then Kafka inbound is used to consume the uh, message from Kafka message broker. Finally, we use the Salesforce connector uh, to send the uh, data to Salesforce CRM. So before going to this, I will explain the Twitter streaming connector. The Twitter streaming connector can be used uh, for, let's say, companies and researchers who need the real-time data frequently uh, from the Twitter, those can use this uh, Twitter uh, streaming connector. So for creating this configuration, uh, I'm going to use WSO2 Developer Studio. Uh, this is the WSO2 Developer Studio. So I will open the dashboard. Uh, here I have already opened the dashboard. Here, uh, I need to create a ESP config project. So I am just clicking on that. Here, I will click next. Here, I need to give the project name. So I will give the name as tweets. Now, I will click finished. Now, I will click on finished. Now, I have created the ESP config project. You can see in the project explorer. In our use case, uh, we need to get the data from Twitter, Twitter infrequently. So I will create a streaming connector in the uh, project. Uh, so the Twitter streaming connector uh, has been created as a uh, inbound invite in the ESP. So I just right click on that. And I will create a new inbound envoy. And I will click next. So here I will select the custom. The Twitter inbound envoy uh, streaming connector has been created as a custom inbound envoy. So I will add the here I will add the um, inbound envoy name. 
and I will click finish. Now I have created the inbound endpoint. I need to configure the inbound endpoint. So as I already uh, said to that inbound is created as a uh, polling inbound. So here we need to add the polling interval. So I will add the interval as 100. And we need to add the parameter for Twitter inbound. Twitter inbound is a streaming connector. Here I will add the parameter. So I will click new. I have already have in here. So I will add the parameter. This is a consumer key, consumer secret, and this is a value. This is the access secret, access secret key, and this is the value. And I will create the another parameter also. Here I will add the key for the access token. This is the value for the access token. Uh, likewise, I will add the consumer key also. Uh, now, I will add the value for the access token. Consumer key. Uh, now, I have added the uh, uh, credential for the Twitter. Now, we need to we need to add the another parameter for the uh, here I will add another parameter twitter dot twitter dot track this is the uh, key value I need to uh, get the data with this key value so I will use this uh, I copy Xmas. So this operation is this is a filter operation. So I will add the operation filter operation. Operation is filter. Now I would like to get the tweets in English. So we have the another parameter Twitter dot language sorry language is English now I have configured the Twitter streaming connector configurations uh, this this uh, Twitter these four values we can uh, we can get from the uh, Twitter developer account so now I have created the configuration for Twitter inbound endpoint as you already know about uh, the inbound messages are inject to the sequence so here we need to create a sequence mediator here so I will drag and drop the sequence mediator so I, I need to give the name for sequence mediator I will give the name request Twitter sequence Now I have created the sequence mediator. In the sequence mediator, in our scenario, uh, you can see here. Uh, you can see in the slide we need we get the message from the Twitter. Now we need to send the message to the Kafka message broker. Uh, here. In our ESP, we have the uh, component as called uh, Kafka connector. So in this point, we need to call the Kafka connector. So here, I need to add the Kafka connector configuration here. So before doing the configuration in the uh, developer studio, we need to add the Kafka connector. So here, 
I will add the Kafka connector first. So we have the option here. I will add the Kafka connector. So here uh, we can add the Kafka connector from our local machines or we can uh, download the connector from the WSO2 store. So I will uh, connect. So now it takes time to download the all the connector details. Uh, it, it takes time to download all the connector uh, all the connectors are downloading so now I will select the Kafka connector And I will click finish. Now I have imported the Kafka connector. Once I upload the connector, we can see in the developer studio palette. So here we have the two operations. In Kafka connector, we need to first uh, make a connection with this Kafka message broker. So here we have the operations in it method init operation sorry uh, I need to uh, create a connector configuration in this sequence so I double click it and I will add the operations so here I need to give the broker course name and fault so now I have the create the configuration to make a connection with the uh, Kafka broker here I have already started the zookeeper and Kafka server uh, this is required for the uh, Kafka message broker the you can see more information in our uh, ESP documentations and the connector documentations. Now I will serve it. In the after the init method, we need to publish the message to the uh, Kafka message broker. So we have the another operation: publish messages. So here I need to add the value for the topic. So I will add the value topic name as tweets so I will publish the message with this topic uh, now we have configured the Twitter inbound and the Kafka connector configuration now you can see in this uh, you can see in this uh, presentation we have get the message from Twitter. Now we send the message to the Kafka connect uh, Kafka broker. Now you can see. I will show the here. Now you can see I have used the one Kafka um, Kafka consumer here. So when we send the message to Kafka message broker, we can verify this using this Kafka consumer. Tool. Once once we message come to this Kafka message broker, we can uh, we will get the message here. Now, so you can see uh, the text message we put as a. Uh, you can see now we got the message. So this is the message we are getting. So now we have configured the configuration for the Kafka uh, connector also. Now we need to consume the message. From the Kafka broker so for that we have the uh, component in the ESP as a Kafka inbound endpoint now I will create a, a inbound endpoint so I will create a inbound endpoint 
this is already in available the here so I will select Kafka so I, I need to give the name for the Kafka inbound environment so I will give the name Kafka inbound sorry inbound envoy so now I will click on finished now I have created the created a Kafka inbound envoy I need to change the configuration this these are the default configuration for Kafka inbound envoy so now I need to change this configurations so here I will give the topic name as tweets and uh, this messages are JSON format so here I need to change the content type to JSON format so here I have added the um, uh, topic name as tweets because uh, here in the Kafka connector we send the message with the with this uh, topic so we should consume the we should subscribe this same topic and we should consume the message so for that I I I give the name tweets so now I have uh, complete the configuration for the Kafka inbound endpoint now as as you already know about this uh, inbound process inbound is uh, inject the message to sequence so here also I need to create a inbound endpoint in uh, create a sequence sorry so I will give the name for sequence sequence now double click so after getting this message from the Kafka broker we need to send those message to the uh, Salesforce CRM so in this messages this is a JSON format message so in this JSON format message we need to extract the uh, tweets and user name so for so for that we need to use the uh, property mediator here so I will use the property mediator so I will type text here I will give the name for that tweets and I will change the value for expression here I will give the so I, I, I will get the message using the xpath expression uh, text this key is available in the JSON format so now I need to get the username also so here I will use the property mediator so username I will use the username Likewise, I will change the uh, expression. So here I need to add the XPath expression. Yes, and again, user dot name, and click on OK. Now I need to send this uh, data to Salesforce CRM. So for that we need to create a configuration for the Salesforce so we have I have already uh, import the Salesforce connector so now you can see in the palette so now I will use the init method so 
so in the init method I need to give the username password and login URL so I will give the username value and password and login URL now I have created the I will this init method will make the connection with this Kafka uh, so not Kafka uh, the sales was CRM now I need to create the uh, object in the sales force so for in our demo purpose I have already created the uh, custom object so I have already created the custom object here so here you can see these fields tweet uh, name tweets and these fields here uh, what I am going to do is I I am going to create the uh, object in the Salesforce using this uh, uh, Salesforce operations Salesforce connect operations so here I need to use the payload pack to mediator so here I need to do the configuration for payload pack to mediator so I have already have the configuration so this is the configuration for payload pack to mediator so here uh, here this is the subject a subject so these are the fields so I will send the details to these fields so name and tweets now click on ok so so I and I need to use the another operations create a subject so I have already created the payload I have created a, uh, a subject in the payload pack to mediator so now I need to create the object object so now serve it so now I have cre complete the configurations now I need to uh, export this uh, our configuration and uh, import it to the ESP so before uh, exporting this uh, uh, this configuration we need to upload the connector also so in our latest version of the developer studio we can build the connectors with this configuration so and we can directly import the uh, with the configuration and connector directly to the ESP so in this dashboard so I will create a, a new exported project here so I will give the name in our configuration we have used the uh, Salesforce and Kafka connector so so I will Kafka and Salesforce so I need to uh, export both connector so here right click the uh, the project and I will add the um, connectors so here I will add the connectors so I will select the workspace we, we have already import the connector so we can see in the workspace now I will select the Kafka connector and to uh, Kafka connector and uh, Salesforce connector so now I will click on ok so and I will finish now I have created the con uh, configuration and the exporter project now I need to build this in the one project so we have the we need I need to create a uh, composite application project here so here I will give the name for composite application project uh, I will give my name as tweet uh, now I need to select the 
configuration and the connector so this is the configuration this is the connectors now I will select next now I will click on finish now I have created the composite project now I need to export this project so here I will export the project and I will I need to give the location so I will browse and give the location now I will click finish now I have created the car file now I can directly import this car file to the ESP so now I will move to the ESP so I will log in as an admin user here we can import the car file here so here I have already imported the car file now you can see the connectors and the configurations are available in the ESP so you can see the Twitter inbound Kafka inbound and the other configuration also available uh, now I will show you the demo now so in the uh, in inbound configuration I have added the uh, tracking value as happy Christmas so you can see here uh, happy Xmas uh, sorry happy Xmas so the values are uh, stored in the uh, Salesforce S object so this is the first use case uh, now I will move to the next next use case ah, this is the my next use case in second in this use case we are getting the real-time data from Salesforce and move this data to Google spreadsheet to do this we need to do some preconditions uh, configuration in the Salesforce so first we have to create the push topic uh, for that I need to go to the sales Salesforce developer console here I need to create the push topic so I will create the push topic so this is uh, already created so this is the push topic name and this is the query for the push topic so whenever new message come to this object so we can get that data to the Salesforce uh, using this Salesforce uh, streaming connector so I will use this push topic name in this our uh, Salesforce streaming connector configuration so now I will go to the developer studio here I have already import the uh, streaming itself for streaming connector and the configuration now you can see this configuration for the Salesforce uh, streaming connectors and uh, after the after we get the message we need to send it to the uh, Salesforce uh, Google spreadsheets so here I have already created the configuration for Google spreadsheets also so now you can see the logic for the uh, logic to create the uh, to insert the data to Google spreadsheets so here I use the uh, some mediators now I will show the demo
uh, this is the configuration for the Google spreadsheet and uh, this is the configuration for the uh, Salesforce uh, inbound endpoint mm, this is uh, I have already uh, imported the project now, now you can see uh, whenever new uh, uh, tweets come to the uh, uh, come to the Salesforce that uh, the messages uh, will be stored in the uh, in this Google spreadsheet so now you can see here so here these are the message so now this is the name of the user this is a tweets oh that's all about this demo uh, if you have any questions uh, please uh, write through the chat uh, thank you